Shay. Oh, it is good to see you again. Your friend Hope said you were away. I, I, I was. Uh, sir, I, I've come to collect the results of your experiments. Oh, well, it's a very good thing, then. I just finished fixing the prototype. Here you go. I was preparing to leave for Philadelphia, and then Europe. I was invited to lecture in London. Oh, would you be so kind as to inform Mistress Hope? Uh, of course. God, Hope. What are you doing with these felons? Turning the city against itself. What have you become? Something the matter, Master Cormac? Uh, no, no. Yes, just... old memories. When I am issued new recruits, burdened with regrets, I tell them the surest way to lose them is with gunpowder. You're right, Colonel. This prototype seems very powerful. Use it with care, Master Cormac. Our intelligence says this thing can destroy certain fortifications, as well as injure several enemies at once. There is also a more subtle way to use it. Some of these grenades contain a strong sedative. Fire one into the crowd and they will fall asleep immediately. We should test this new weapon. Use it against that door. Use these grenades to destroy that door. Go ahead. Good work. Good work. I think you are ready to turn this new weapon against the ruffians who would have used it. There is an abandoned factory nearby hiding a dangerous poison. Right now, it only causes sleep. But I fear those outlaws are distilling it. A more powerful formula could sicken or perhaps even kill most of New York. But that's my first target. Be careful, Master Cormac. We understand that the ingredients... <laughs> All the better. I mess with this. Maybe I can break the whole system.
get tired of it. <laughs> what are you doing here? Robbing the corpse is after all. <sighs> That's a fail. Don't stop your whining, and I'll leave our own side of the corpse. Hey! What are you doing? Here? I must get out, or I'm as good as dead. What marvelous destruction, Captain. I saw the smoke all the way from the Morrigan. That should discourage those miscreants. New York is safe for now. With all due respect, Colonel, it's going to take more than a few explosions to get rid of this kind of trouble. The boy is right, Colonel Monroe. Shay, was it? Congratulations. You just burned a whole lot of rats out of New York. I'm Jack Weeks. This is William Johnson. I don't know about him, but I'm pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. It is uh, terribly dusty here. I'm sure Shea can recount his adventures to us over a pint. Hey, the first round's on uh, the Colonel. Huh? <laughs> is something the matter, Master Cormac? Just a little confused. I uh, must have breathed some of that gas. Some ale will do you good. Come, we are all friends here. You will be taken care of. from the colonel. Dear Master Cormac, my apologies for the brevity of this missive, but it is time we were honest with one another. You have demonstrated your loyalty and resourcefulness to the Templar cause, and this despite and perhaps because of your assassin origins. The manuscript the assassins sought has been in my possession for some time. I reclaimed it when my men found you marooned. The Grand Master himself charged me to discover its meaning, a task I regret I have failed to complete. I leave it in your charge, Master Cormac. There is no one else I trust more. Now I leave for Fort William Henry, an ill-prepared garrison surrounded by hostile natives and the French army. We have requested reinforcements, but I doubt they will be forthcoming. 
I have no illusions that our resistance will be successful. I commit my life to the British Army and my soul to the Father of Understanding. Yours, Colonel George Monroe. Captain has the wheel! Loose and catch the wind! Find your post, guest. The Colonel's in trouble. How do you mean, in trouble? He's at Fort William Henry, facing impossible odds. Get off your lazy asses, lads! And man your stations! We raise anchor! Sorry for the early libation, Captain. But do you realize it has been a whole year since we met? <laughs> a whole year! Changed my life, you did. And for the better. <laughs> you will uh, forgive me if I have been uh, celebrating without you. A whole year. Yes. I have a question. How long have you heard of my, well, former allegiance? Oh, you mean the assassins? I knew that ages ago, Jay. I may be drunk, but I'm not lying. Or did you think I would have had escaped from some homicidal circus. Why didn't you say anything? Well, the Colonel wanted us to avoid the subject so it wouldn't, you know, influence your decision-making. You saved my life out of pure selfless instinct and helped countless others to save us. But to me, I would have made you an official Templar monster. Who is it up to then? Monroe well mentioned the Grand Master. Yes, the Grand Master of a Colonial Rite. This Really? He must have a story to tell. What's the news, Fort William Henry? The garrison is surrounded, and reinforcements are late. General Montcalm has been blazing a path across the country for King Louis, hasn't he? I rather wish he'd stayed home with his mistress. His or King Louis? Either.
Out some sail! Loose mains and catch the wind! Crowd it all on! Dead straight to left! Well, I hang through some ball and our eggs are all set. Oh, oh, you young sailor, then listen to me. I sing you a song of the fish in the sea and its windy weather. Boys, it's stormy. Oh, it's a cold and dreary morning in December. December. And all of me money it was spent. Sally Sally Brown, she's the gal for me, boys. Oh, boys. Sally Brown, she's the gal for me, boys. We have Sally Brown. It's down to Trinidad to see Sally Brown, boys. Row, boys, row, boys, row. Down As to Trinidad. I walked down on Broadway one evening in July. I met a maid who had to be trained in a sailor's gun, said I, and it's no oh, way you send it, my dear Annie. Oh, you New York girls, can't you dance a polka? That's the gallant of Rhymes! I did not buy the Drop sail! I put a two gold earrings and they cost me. Please don't! That's the way! Yet I'm too sailor, now see me how ye may. But when we reached the cottage door, she unto me did say, And it's a way you send it, my dear Annie. Oh, you New York girls, can't you dance the polka? My flashman, he's a Yankee, with his hair cut 
Shay, you are a sight for sore eyes. Jack? Colonel Monroe surrendered to General Moncal. The French and their Abenaki allies took Fort Henry. Johnson was supposed to bring reinforcements here. I don't see anyone else. The Abenaki are restless. They don't understand the terms of surrender and refuse to heed Moncal. The Colonel and his men were released this morning. They're walking into an ambush. Wait here in case Johnson arrives. I'll... I'll protect the Colonel. Thank you. Maybe I can finally repay my debt to him. I hope I'm not too late. Too late. That's a 
last of them. Master Cormac. Sir, we must hurry. We should bring what's left of your man to the Morgan. A welcome offer, Captain Cormac. Follow me. Safe passage is ahead. So if you don't mind me asking, what happened at Fort William Henry? Poor planning and poor luck, I am afraid. Montcalm was able to bombard us for days. Damn frog. Actually, he acted with great honor. When we sent for Parley, he returned an offer far more generous than anticipated. We kept our arms, and more importantly, our colors. Only to walk into a trap. I would hardly expect the French to defend us. Would you? No, I wouldn't. You continue to prove your loyalty to the Templars, Master Cormac. Risking your life for me. We're not out of the woods yet, Colonel. As for my loyalty, well, I do owe you, don't I? You saved my life. Gave me a second chance. We have been working together for a year now. During that time, you have rendered many really great services. Whatever debt you imagine you have towards me is paid, would you say? Perhaps. Cover! Keep together, men! I'll take out as many as I can. Keep your men moving. I'll scout ahead and signal if there's trouble. A sensible strategy. Very well. I will lead my men around slowly. 